Not seeing any direct questions, but Mr. Tennant, I want to make sure you have an opportunity to introduce your staff here and then uh, you. council member, uh, it's not Andrew Johnson. It's obviously Jacob Fry. So. And I failed to uh, introduce them before, and I apologize for that. But we have Brent Forster, who just showed up. Wow, he's, <laughs> you must have just flown in. I did. Okay, well, welcome, Brent Forster. Brent is in charge of all of our destination sales. Uh, Dave Knoll is in charge of finance and administration. And Scott Romain is in charge of our Sports Minneapolis division. All right, I think I covered it. Good. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Uh, Council Member Fry. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you, Mr. Tennant, for all your work this last thank year. You. I know we've had some pretty impressive wins from the uh, USA Volleyball to increase room uh, night stays. And uh, wanted to ask you a question in regard to a presentation that we actually recently saw out in Seattle. Yes. Uh, and in addition to the direct city subsidy from the city, they also had an assessment model that they used. They yes, were calling they an assessment, which, you know, right. we could debate whether it was an assessment or a tax, but it came directly from hotels. Right. What are your thoughts on that? And, and, and how do you feel about that as an app as applied to our city? What you're referring to, Council Member Fry, is called a, a tourism improvement district. That's the generic name for it, but it's similar to what a, a business improvement district would, would be. And again, the hotels would agree to a, a an assessment, and I believe in Seattle it might be two dollars per room consumed uh, within a certain geographic area. And uh, most of the time, when those dollars are collected, they're collected and funneled to a separate authority that then, uh, through its governance, determines exactly which tourism purposes they go to. All that typically is predetermined within the legislation that is um, put together. In, in advance of that. We've actually explored that, and I think that should be on the table for discussion. Um, we know that from several years ago when there was a discussion about uh, the possibility of an increase in hotel tax to help support the stadium project, we did some work with the local Minneapolis hotels, and there was a willingness on their part Is there? to uh, to support an increase in tax rate if it was directly benefited, benefiting a, a project that would enhance tourism. So we feel as though this would be comparable to that. So I believe that um, we, sh we should have those discussions. And I do believe that over time we could get the local hotels to be supportive of that. Yeah. Yes, sir. Th thank you, Mr. Tennant. Well, I, I, w I won't make any kind of commitments now. I would be interested in hearing some more information. on If you could just shoot me an email with what uh, for me proposed legislation would look like. Yes, sir. Uh, that would be really helpful. That we can work um, uh, logistics and uh, through our IGR committee. I will do that, sir. Thank you. Not seeing anything further. Thank you very much, Mr. Tennant. Thank you. Mr. Johnson, I'm think are you going to have some closing remarks? Say thank you and get off the stage. Thank you. And there you go. <laughs> Mr. Cronk, you have the final word for the afternoon. Chair Quincy, council members. Today, at today's hearing, uh, you heard from many departments under the city coordinator, and I really appreciate the opportunity to present uh, the 2016 mayoral budget to the city council for their uh, review. Um, and I look forward to engaging with the council members in a fruitful conversation about any other follow-up conversations or questions that you had as a result of today's hearing. So thank you very right. much. And uh, as you're here, I, we probably should just make sure that everybody knows that uh, uh, Jeff Johnson is the contract manager for the Meet Minneapolis, and uh, Mr. Johnson reports through the coordinator's office as our executive director of the convention center. So thank today you was for coordinator that. day for today the, was coordinator so, day, including actually with the internal audit, which we have um, just administrative uh, oversight over. So we're hopeful in the internal audit function as well. Very good. Thank you very much, everyone. Appreciate it. Seeing no further business before this committee, we are adjourned. <laughs>